<laughs> YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. We have another surface Wednesday. This thing is amazing. The Toyota FJ40, one-tenth scale, squishy tires, every feature you can want. Basically, all the doors open, soft seats, steering, steering wheel. I'm going to show you that real quick. Oh, yeah. And instruments that look beautiful like a scale model. The only problem we've had so far is that our little tabby thing broke on the back door, so we're probably gonna have to tape those things back shut. But how sweet is this amazing interior? We actually have padding so that our passengers are comfortable. And just to give you an idea of how big this 110th scale is, here's the battery we're using, 5002S30C. It will go right in, and it doesn't even interfere with your passenger's leg room, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> So as usual, FMS has outdone themselves. Latching doors, beautiful. That goes all the way down and you can open up. Everything is super well done and we're very happy with the look of this. But it's one thing to look good. Is it gonna function good? And that's what we're gonna check now. Only complaint is right there, guys. I'm just gonna say that right now. Now, this thing does seem a bit fragile for being a beautiful off-road one tenth scale and it is kind of speedy so i'm going to take it very easy on the controls so i can show you how smooth the action is full disclosure i turn my steering dual rates which are right here all the way up so you can press that and it will change how far your steering will work and if you're doing any crawling that's going to help you but you're going to get chirp in four wheel drive so here goes nothing so that's going to be full scale or full speed right now. Just giving you a little on-road Toyota action. We're going to double back here, camera crew, and come right back to us. Keeping it on the road just barely. What a beauty. And I'll show you reverse. See, it's got a very fast braking action, so it almost always launches. Oh, and by the way, while we're looking at the sweet rear end, look at that hitch adapter absolutely sweet that we have this ball hitch adapter right here although it is kind of high so if you're using that to hitch onto some sort of a trailer you may have to get a little bit creative to make sure that it actually works also ample room inside of this beautiful machine to get your counterweight in the back because i'm going to point out one detail about this that you're going to be disappointed with if you're not careful and i am not careful and that is those mirrors are going to break immediately. So take it easy on the way down your death trap there, Brian. This is why we love 110 scale, taking it very easy. Look how good this thing does out in the rough. Guys, these things, I'm not even pushing it. It's very easy to drive this thing. It gets around those pneumatic tires are absolutely fantastic. Why do we not have better pneumatic tires? on our airplanes is a question that always plagues me as I attempt to get to sleep at night. I think, why don't we have a big squishy pair in my hands right now? That's what I think about when I'm trying to go to sleep, people. You must. Huh? I've seen how fast you fall asleep. Oh, yes, that's true. Oh, oh. buddy, I almost broke my mirrors. Oh, get a shot of that going through the grass. That is so gorgeous. By the way, dual rates all the way up make a big difference in terms of the controllability on this thing. Now, of course, if you're just doing on-road driving, you should have no problem with the stock configuration and it is not hard to change. But guys, look at this, not even pushing it. I've got like maybe 15% throttle in and look at this. Oh, I found my first, my first pothole. Let's see if we can get out of it. I do not want to break everything today. But this is a very steep, oh no! Did I already break the mirror? I probably did, let's see guys. Hand of God. Did I? Um, not yet, I but very close. Okay, so these things do not pivot. They look like they would, because on the real ones they evidently pivot. Yep. These ones do not, but they do swivel, which is super cool. Do you guys see that? You can actually swivel this because it's got a ball link on it. And yes, that is a true mirror so you can see the camera crew well in our amazing camera pretend. how about that so guys what i'm going to say is i'm going to give you a little bit more runtime and just to watch and see if you think this is your thing now i must admit not a smasher at least not as far as i can tell 
I'm not pushing it hard, but this is kind of a very rough area. And you have to remember that we are talking about legit rough area here. This is like in the, well, what would this be like? The Savannah? What am I trying to say? The Sahara yeah. Desert? Look how thick everything is, guys. That's why we love these one tenths. They're just like the best for actually getting off road. Yeah. We've seen some amazing Max Smashers, which are very small, 124th, and they do okay. But I just love that I can drive straight through this nasty off-road territory. And late in the season with a drought, we've had just limited times we need to mow down here. This is a dry riverbed, as you can tell, and we're making it through absolutely no problems. So if you guys are in the mood for a 110th scale vehicle that's gonna be basically second to none, although not very fast, this is probably for you now. This is a, this is a really rough hill that's behind us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go back and we'll see if we can get it to go up the hill. I'm gonna go really slow and carefully. Look at that bush, just went right through it, no problem. And the four wheel drive is good. Look at that thing digging in just like a real truck would. That's so cool. Look at that guys, no problem getting up that hill. I can barely mow this hill. It is extremely difficult to mow and I'm gonna see if I can go slow here guys. So as you can see, just really, really, really trying to feather the throttle so I don't tip it over. And I'm gonna kind of gun it on the way out of the hill. So cool. I love driving these challenging areas. And if you have a, a capable vehicle like this that looks so realistic, it makes it totally worthwhile. And all I've got to say is everything about this vehicle I love with the exception of of course, the mirrors are gonna break. I guarantee they will soon. Now also, are there brake lights? Cause I'm not seeing brake lights. I was just wondering about that too. I don't think there are. It's just a simulated brake light. So you can add some brake lights if you want. You can add the signals if you want. But honestly, as much as I can say, I like having brake lights. We have found in our kids that drive a lot at night have found that the best way to do it is just have good headlights. And those headlights look like they're probably okay. But most of you guys are going to deck this thing out with lots of four-wheel drive, um, you know, big spotlights up at the top. And then camera crew, you're not wanting to drive this thing, are you? No, that's okay. Because I can tell you this right now, I don't want to stop driving. Oh, and then, yes, this does have a brushless motor, which is pretty sweet. Isn't that what we saw mm -hmm. when we pulled open the hood? Do you want to show them inside the hood real quick? Yeah. I'll just drive it right over to the camera crew. So if you guys are in the mood to help support Brian Phillips RC, never be ashamed to want to help support Brian Phillips RC. All you have to do is look in the video description below. You can buy one of these beautiful RC vehicles for your very own. Now also we have chosen to use a 2S. Yep. This is a 30C Smart Pack, 5,000 milliamp hour. This thing will run forever on that. That is a brushed motor too, yeah, hon. Brushed, not yep. brushless. My apologies, guys. And there is a bunch of cooling fans on the front, but it is actually a water resistant, even though they say waterproof. I'm gonna say water yeah. resistant because I have tempted fate on even the most waterproof submarines. <laughs> I find that they tend to eventually find water in the differential or in the gearbox or in the transmission and it causes weird problems but this thing is supposed to be able to handle it. I'm just not gonna tempt fate just quite yet. Plus it's been a drought, so kind of not yeah, much not water. water. Oh. Let's see if I can, I know, I'm trying to decide, is there a way to negotiate this without tipping? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm just, that's why you need that steering trim all the way up, guys, I'm telling you. And if you put a couple of rocks in there, that thing would never tip over because it's just so dang heavy. And I gotta say the suspension and the frame underneath are super heavy. They, they feel like they're steel, but if you guys want to look with me right now, look how awesome that is under there. Everything is super heavy duty. Camera crew is going to hold the pistol grip transmitter for me. And just look how strong everything is really well set. Obviously, one of the biggest advantages of getting an FMS car or truck is because it comes with really well done suspension. And if you need to get a spare part, you're not going to be high and dry. That's one of the reasons why we love working with these FMS products. And look how sweet those wheels look. Again, 
Pneumatic tires, feels like they got a foam filler in there, which is good. And then just love this. No license plate today? Oh, there's just one on too the tight on time. So I'm not sure what the deal is with the lights though. It looks like you can add some lights if you want, but just comes with the headlights on this one. And then also you do not have to actually clip these, so don't break those off. Some right. of the models need to be clipped. This is just a pressure fit. And we also noticed that there wasn't any clip for the battery, but these two S's just fit really nice in there. And here's the motor. So that says brushed motor. My apologies, guys. This is your on off switch. We usually leave them on and just unplug the battery. And yes, the XT60 connector that comes equipped on this car will work with your IC3 connector, but it's a little bit hard to plug in. So just keep that in mind. And boy, oh boy, these things are getting so dang gorgeous. Yeah. And all I've got to say is licensed product from Toyota. So you don't have to worry about this one coming out in like two months for some other <laughs> fake brand because this one's actually licensed. And also you can put all sorts of cool things up on the roof rack. So I just love that these FMS cars are getting so dang good. And if you haven't experienced one, you should really seriously check one out for yourself. And all you have to do is follow the link in the video description below and you'll help support Brian Phillips RC and all the different RC content that we try to bring. And also, if you guys are curious about coupon codes, one thing you can do that really helps is go over to Brian Phillips RC, that's our domain for our website, and you can see if we have coupon codes that are coming straight from the manufacturer or maybe a certain distributor that's offering a product that you might like. It may not even be directly through the manufacturer's website like this one is. So definitely check there first if you're trying to save a buck. We try to stay right on top of those coupon codes so you can get these things for the best bang for your buck. And look at this, guys. This thing is heavy. It is. I mean, it's like hard for me to hold it. I wanna use two hands. But just definitely love these one-tenth scale vehicles are some of our favorites. Not a smasher, but I can definitely say this. If you like crawling, this thing is gonna be great because it's super fun and it's not super easy because sometimes if they're too easy, it kind of takes some of the fun out of it. So the FJ40 by FMS, the Toyota FJ40 Land Cruiser, as you can see right there. Mm -hmm. So absolutely gorgeous. And I gotta get back to driving guys. So I guess that's probably gonna wrap it up for us tonight. If you have questions, or comments, leave them down below in the comments section. And if you wanna help support us in other ways other than buying a car, there's tons of other items that we've reviewed over the years. And all you have to do is check down below and you'll probably find what you want. But if you can't find it, you can search on YouTube, click on my little face icon. You'll go to our channel and there's a search engine just for our channel. Or you could go over to brianphillipsrc.com and you can search ground vehicles, or you can search float planes, or you can search beginner, or you can search EDF jets. The sky's the limit, pun intended, because we will help you find what you're looking for right now. And then we're gonna help you vet whether or not it's really worth what they're asking for it. And you can watch our videos to help make that decision. Now, obviously this track, it's not looking so hot right now because we've had tons and tons of dry, terrible weather. And also my lawnmower was broke down for a few weeks, oops. But the truth is, if you guys wanna see something like this on the, uh, the same common area, that's what we're trying to do is give you guys a look at products in similar circumstances so you can make a basis for comparison. So if you wanna see this head to head against one of the 24 scales or one of the six, do we have some 16 scales or 18 scales? 12. 12. 12, 10, and do we have a one eighth? Yeah we, have, yeah, we have like one or two, mm -hmm. uh, even bigger than one tenth. But the thing is, when you're trying to make a decision that can be tough if you're always just seeing them in really super cool environments, and we're not necessarily here to be best, fastest, cheapest, that's not what we do. But what we do wanna do is give you guys a basis for comparison, which this is kind of our area. We're gonna nurture it, try to get it even better and better over time. But we're also working on our pond right now. So again, if you wanna help support us, please do. And now uh, there's four different main ways you can do it. If it's not just buying the airplanes, cars, trucks, quads, helicopters, leaf blowers, and such, it would be through Super Thanks, YouTube membership, membership on Patreon, which also kind of helps you to get a hold of us if you're trying to get preferential treatment on comments because I do see those easier. And uh, we don't list that in case you're overseas, so you don't have to pay special tax on it. 
And then also, of course, PayPal for one-time donations. But really, the best way to do it is for buying these things when they look good, okay? So when you don't like one that we're reviewing, just still smash the like button. We're trying to do our best to give you guys a good look at all the different products that we can get our hands on and not just the ones that we personally go out and love. Although to be honest with you, I tend to love most RC stuff <laughs> because there's so many good choices these days. And I gotta say, I was a little bit weirded out. There's two switches here, one here, and one here, this is channel three. So I'm gonna go to the forward position and I don't notice a speed change. And I'm gonna go to the rear position and I don't see a speed change. So sometimes when you see that trigger, or excuse me, rather that slider switch for channel three, you're gonna assume that you're gonna get a high low speed. We didn't see a high low speed in this particular product. Also sometimes they use that for uh, four wheel drive, and two wheel drive switch, which we didn't see either. The other thing too, is we didn't see a change in light mode. And that's the other thing that sometimes you'll see, that's about 60% throttle there, going across a rough spot here, and then we'll go fast and see if we can get out of the ditch. As you can see, this thing just does it with no trouble. And if you're looking for something for your kids, don't get this one unless you like fixing expensive parts. Get one that's more of a smasher or basher. Get this one for yourself and drive it like you don't wanna destroy it because I think this thing is just gonna be a beautiful masterpiece that you can put on your center centerpiece on your coffee table because it is so dang detailed, you're gonna absolutely love looking at it. And that's one thing that we love about cars is that it takes a little bit less skill to drive the cars than it does airplanes. But just remember, when you're making a purchase decision on an expensive product like this, you don't wanna just throw caution to the wind see if we've covered it. If we've covered it and we help answer your questions, then that's what we're here for and that's what we intend to keep doing. Also, you do have to provide your batteries just like always. So as you can see, they just jump right out at you. So that's four double A's. It also did not come with the battery that we're using to run this on. Now you don't have to use a 5000 2S hard pack like this or hard case, but you can if you want. You could actually use a 2200 2S or whatever size class you have, it should be fine. Just keep in mind, you're gonna get a lot more runtime and a little bit more better wear and tear on these plastic hard case or hard pack batteries, okay? But this is smart, which is nice because you're gonna get the telemetry data and everything back and forth on your charger. So you're gonna to tend to have good longevity out of these batteries, even though they are at a little bit of a premium compared to some of the other offerings. Now also keep in mind this IC3 connector is going to fit in your XT60, but it is a little bit harder to plug in. So if you are getting this for kids, you might wanna buy an adapter so that you can go from IC3 to an EC3 slash XT60 adapter, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So just keep that in mind because it is hard sometimes for the kids to force this connector into the XT60. The actual pin and socket will fit perfectly, but it's more the plastic housing on the newer, more modern XT60s tend to be a little bit thicker on the outside rim. So it's harder to cram the connector together. That being said, you're gonna get plenty of amps and current through that connector without any risk of a fire, especially in an application like this, should be totally safe. So that being said, sorry for shooting my batteries at you, camera crew. I promise not to uh, do that again without your blessing and consent, because <laughs> we always ask consent first, right? Right. Always. Okay, all right, that's all you get for tonight, guys, FJ. Land Cruiser from Toyota, FJ40. Absolutely fantastic choice. Get one from the links right now, guys. Get them while they're hot. And thanks a lot for watching. So much more content coming here on Brian Phillips RC. We appreciate you guys, the world's best audience in YouTube history, right here, sitting in front of the computer, right there. Thanks for being there.